If this, your head hurts and you can't come into work. If I'm yelling, it's because I've been here since 6 a.m. this morning and I'll be here until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, if you're checking on me, you can turn around. I'm up to date with all your flower orders. I know you are because you are a diamond under pressure. <laughs> Come here, I've had a rough day. Oh, sick workers. And a stock take that's hanging over me like Damocles' sword. Oh, impending doom. Mm. Well, you poor thing, what can I do? Well, a little help with the... F Actually, do you know what? I really love it. Another cup of tea. Oh, I'll pour you one. <sighs> so, um, has Tom already gone up? Oh, so that's the real reason you're here, to check <laughs> on his highness. Oh, I hear he's been trying quite hard. How did his birthday drinks go? Splash some money around. Oh, he's so generous like that. Hmm. But self-centred at times. Ask Tess. She's seen his true colours. Oh, come on, Lenny. Are you sure that's not the tiredness talking? <gasps> no, it's not. Although now you mention it, I am exhausted, drained to the dregs like all those empty wine glasses. Oh, that's my fault. Well, as soon as we've finished these, it's straight home for an early night. <laughs> You're treating me like a tired toddler. Well, I'll throw in a foot rub. Oh. You know me too well. <laughs> and as for the rest, I will do whatever you want. Cleaning, serving, accounts, you name it, I'm your woman. And I'm yours. Hey, look, I've been thinking, you can't let Denise take away your last chance to say goodbye. Come on, I'll take you to the funeral home to farewell Nathan. It would be a waste of time. Uh, look, it's important. Denise had his body flown to Invercargill first thing this morning. What? No warning, nothing, just like that. She took away my last chance to say goodbye to the man I love. That is heartless. What was she thinking? Who knows? Doesn't say much for Christian kindness, though, does it? If I had more time, I'd give Rico some counselling, but I'll wait to be asked. I saw that, Tom. Now, stock taking. Yeah. Um, well, just the same as you do for the shop. So you count everything? Yes, but no guesstimates. Pointless if we're not accurate. OK, then I should be the last word in precision. Is a flat white enough for breakfast? No. Now, fess up. Were you out late last night breaking hearts? There's only one woman for me, Ros, and she has always managed to resist my advances. Oh, stop. You're flirting now. I'm taken, aren't I, Lee? And you would not be happy sharing me with this young hunk, would you? Less hunk and more uncouth hooligan, if you ask me. Oh, fighting talk. Looks like you've made my girl jealous. Girl? Well, the Anne's old woman, I can tell. Mm -hmm. I have many feelings for Dr Tom Griffiths, but I can assure you that jealousy isn't one of them. Are you sure about that, Lee? There's plenty of me to go around. And it's Leanne, and I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole if you were the last man on earth. Well, that's you told. Big breakfast, my treat. No, I'm sorry, Tom, I can't, I'm busy. With what? Well, you heard we're doing a stock take. Yes, so, <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh, come on, boss, just one quick break and then you can have her back to do your bidding. Well, maybe you could get a staff member to do it for us. No, Roz, I told you, it needs to be done properly. Another time, Tom. I need to help Lee. I don't need your help. It's all right. I offered. Yeah, but t now that I look at it, it would take longer to explain the system as it would for me to do it myself, so... So I can steal you away for breakfast? Yeah, fine by me. Oh, thank you. Let's go get a table before it gets too busy. <sighs> How was breakfast? Oh, cut short when a thousand delivery requests came in at the last minute. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> well, I, I finished the stock take, so what else needs doing? Oh, no, I've got it. No, don't be silly. I can do these. Oh, no, no, no. They need to be delivered all over the hospital and you'd be running up and down different floors all over the show. So would you. So, I can do it. I've got the time. Oh, well, I do need to get across town. Go, go. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you. There's the list. All right, bye. <laughs> Oh, is that, a, is that a double E or U-S? Roz's handwriting is beyond belief. Why isn't Roz delivering these? Yeah, well, she could have knocked off a few this morning, but no, she was so busy carrying on with a certain full of himself, rude, pretentious Tom, Tom Cat, as I like to call him, behaving as he does as a mog in heat. <laughs> but, you know, the worst thing is, Nicole... Ros loves that she fawns all over him. While well, you're working double duty at the bar and the flower shop. Nicole, I offered, and it is, it's only for today. Hand over the so-called list. Let me get on. 
Out of my way. No, these need to be delivered before they die, or, or I do. Stop. Where is Roz? Uh, uh, across town, delivering, last I heard. And when was that? Um, look, I don't know, Nicole. All I know is that online is going mad and the other florist is closed for a bereavement or something, and I am rushed off my flipping feet. So I take it you can't pick up Belle well, not unless there's a flower delivery to his school at exactly 3 p.m. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. And I'll drop these for you. Oh, would you? Yeah, of course. Just just give me the names. Thank you. Oh, I feel like I'm being pulled every which way and that at the moment. It's... Don't winch to me. Winch to Roz. She's the one piling you with jobs. Yeah, and stopping me from seeing my darling grandson. Oh, what? No ballet time for Grandma Lee? No, sadly, too much to do, I'm afraid. Well, maybe it's a time management issue. I mean, you do need to factor in your age when you're scheduling your day. Don't be rude. I'm completely fine. I'm raring to go. So please, everyone, just get out of my way so I can get on. What do you want? Good afternoon to you, too. What's the story with the talents? Sorry? Well, I came back to have a shower and they hadn't been changed. Did you leave them on the floor? No. Well, how would I know that you wanted fresh ones? Because I'm a guest staying at your hotel. There's a notice. If you want your towels replaced, leave them on the floor. Otherwise, we'll assume that you care about the planet and don't like wasting water. OK. Fresh towels, please, every day. Of course, Your Majesty. <laughs> Would you like your shoes shined at the same time? Mm, my kicks are good, thanks, though. Oh, here you both are. Ah, that reminds me. Um, shall I look for five tonight? I have no idea what you're talking about. Tom is taking us out for dinner to that French place on the water. Us. Maeve and Nicole are invited, too. <laughs> I can't. Why not? Well, I have to watch the bar. The duty manager called in sick. Oh, come on, Leanne. You've done half a day of stock take. Just get Sally to lock up. Oh, Sally's useless. It's good for nothing except wiping tables and, and overpouring. Is it me? Mm? Uh, no, incredibly, Tom. It's not all about you. <laughs> no, I just didn't get the notice I required. Fine. How about your one? Oh, you're upset. No, I'm busy. Well, we'll do a dinner another night. Look, I'm not asking you to cancel. Well, I can't leave you stuck here and working yourself into an early grave. I could help out. Well, you'd, you'd just be a distraction. Oh, lovely one, but a distraction nonetheless. Go and have fun with your friend. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. You right, Lee? Hmm? Right. Are you going to tell me I look tired and old or something? Perish the thought. You're ravishing. Sake, just please, just I, I, I just can't stand around here and listen to all this this rubbish. Technically, he was right. I mean, the restaurant did have a chef. Just not one that wanted to cook him whatever he wanted. To. I don't get it. It's a customer from hell. Kind of had to be there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I get it now. It's very funny. Anyway, why are we closing up? Couldn't someone else do it? Oh, just call me the night manager, dawn dusk, twenty four seven manager. You right, Leon? You know, I'm oh, all right. You're just exhausted, are no, no, you? No, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. Leanne? What's going on? Are you right? Tom. I think Tom. you're having a heart attack. Uh -huh. 